I'm Frank with DW's Technical Support Department with today's tech tip. Today we're going to discuss voltage drop testing and its importance in electrical diagnostics, in particular with starting systems. Many starters fail because of insufficient voltage supplied to the starter. Today we're going to show you how to perform a voltage drop test to ensure starter longevity on the vehicle. One of the most common casualties of low voltage is the starter solenoid. In the star solenoid, there's a contact disc that has to quickly engage, sending power to the brushes in the starter. If you have low voltage, it will slow down the movement of that disc, ultimately causing arcing internally and premature failure of the disc and solenoid assembly. It's very important that you check for voltage drops to make sure sufficient voltage is supplied to prevent this from happening. When replacing a starter on your vehicle, there are many things that can cause the starter to fail prematurely. There's a few things we would like to check before replacing the starter to ensure a long life on your vehicle. First thing you're going to do is a visual inspection of the electrical components on the vehicle, cables, connections, etc. Then you're going to want to perform at least a static test on the batteries. We're going to use a voltmeter here in this case to check the residual voltage in the batteries before replacing the starter. On this meter, we're going to set it to the 20 volt setting, and we're just going to basically check the tops of the cables at the actual cable top of the battery, positive side and negative. You should have on a good charge 12 volt system around 12.6 volts. On this one here, we do have 12.6 volts, so we're going to proceed with the rest of the testing. Now we've checked our batteries, the next test we're going to perform is the voltage drop test. Before performing this test, we need to make sure the vehicle is disabled from starting so we can crank the vehicle over appropriately. The purpose of this test is to make sure we have good, clean, tight cables and connections and that we're not losing any voltage across the cables, not only on the positive side of the circuit, but on the negative. In order to perform this test, we're going to go ahead and set our meter to the lowest setting, connect our leads at the positive point coming off the batteries going to the starter, and also at the positive lug on the starter. We're going to repeat this test checking the ground side of the circuit also. We're going to go ahead and set our meter now, in this case to the 2 volt setting, and then we're going to crank the vehicle over and check to see how much voltage we get at the meter. As you can see from our test results, we had excessive voltage drop on the positive side and excessive voltage drop on the negative side of the circuit. You can see through our visual inspection that the negative cable going to the frame was excessively corroded and should be attended. This should help with the voltage drop problem in the system. This is today's tech tip. I'm Frank with D&W. Stay tuned until next time.